Hello everyone, welcome back. My name's Kristen and today we're doing something a little bit different here on my channel. I am taking you along with me wedding dress shopping. I have my mom in town right now. She flew in a couple days ago and I booked two full days of wedding dress appointments. Christian and I get married next year, so I have a lot of planning to do. It's feeling a little bit crazy right now with how many decisions I have to make. And my wedding planner has told me I should start looking for wedding dresses and potentially buy one this month. I flew home a couple weeks ago to try on wedding dresses in Toronto with my mom and my sister, had the best day out, tried on so many different styles because I had no idea what I even wanted. I'm still open to trying like everything just to get a good idea. I'm not really too into a ton of beading and detail because it kind of reminds me of my competitive dance days, like wearing costumes and stuff. I just want it to be like super beautiful, really nice fit, good fabrics and yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So me and my mom are heading out today. I wanna to take you along with me and I'll get some footage while we're out and then do a little recap at the end. Let's head over to the first appointment. So we made our way to Pasadena to check out this first appointment at Vero Bridal. They gave us a chance to just look around the floor and pick different dresses we'd like. There was a lot of sparkle like this, a lot of 3D lace. That's the kind of stuff I'm not a huge fan of. So I was looking for clean, simple looks at this location. So I tried on this very simple satin gown that had an amazing top. I loved the little bow at the back. I think that was super sweet and it just fit really well well. The top had a ton of structure, a really nice train, and with satin, all of the satin dresses are kind of pleated differently, and I loved how pleated this one was because it fell really nicely. Now I wanted to see some dresses that allow you to get two looks in one. So this is a fit and flare dress that actually has an overskirt on top. So if you wanted to do two different styles, you totally could. I never tried an overskirt before, so I really wanted to see what that would look like. Usually these overskirts are attached at the hip, they're open at the front, so you can kind of see the two dresses in one. I don't know if I love that look. I kind of wish an overskirt just went all the way around, but I think it's a really cool idea for any bride that's looking for a dramatic outfit change. This dress was a little bit of a wild card. It was actually the first dress I saw when I walked in and it was sparkly. It had beading, a ton of detail. It was very, very heavy and very long, but they always say to try on things that you don't expect to like just to see what it really feels like. So I did confirm it feels a little too princessy when you have a ball gown and it's sparkly to me personally. So this one just wasn't really the best fit. Now this is a Milanova dress that I've seen all over Pinterest. So I really wanted to try on one of my Pinterest pin dresses. And I love the shape of it. It looks super cute. It has these little bows on the top. I think this neckline is really nice. This sweetheart to square look. It has a little bit of a casual feel to it, but the structure is really nice. The straps on the bows were a little bit more like straps instead of flowy bows. So I think if that detail was changed, it would have felt and looked a little bit different, but super cute dress, loved the way this fit. Next, we went over to Kinsley James. This has such a lively atmosphere in the store. This is the kind of store where you can go through the inventory and pick six options. And I actually ended up working with one of my subscribers here. She was so amazing. We tried on a ton of different styles. So this was one of the dresses that had a square neckline. I wanted to see what that looked like. I wasn't a huge fan of the slit and the wrapped style. So we swapped into something else. This is one of the new Kim Kassas dresses, which is very designed. It's actually two dresses in one. This corset is a corset overskirt over top of this see-through 
tight dress. So you could get two looks in one, but it was a little bit revealing for me. I don't know if I wanna be able to see my legs like that. This next dress was a two-in-one dress as well. I love that these designers are giving that option so that you don't have to go buy two dresses if you want two different looks. So this is a mermaid fitted, very simple dress underneath. And I love the shape of this. I think it's very flattering. I don't know if it's the right shape for my venue, but I love the look of it. And then you can just throw on that overskirt on top to get a brand new look. So I think that's pretty cool. After a little coffee break, we headed to For Love Bridal in Sherman Oaks. I've heard great things about this store. It has a happy, bright vibe to it, and the walls are lined with dresses. This is the kind of place where the stylist actually chooses dresses for you instead of you sifting through the dresses. So we just tried on different styles here. This was one of them. It was a long sleeve lace gown, but there was a lot of things about this dress that I would have changed. So because of that, it wasn't really something I was super interested in. It showed me variation in the skirt though, because depending on what fabric you choose for the skirt, it can sit differently. So this was horsehair, it has a lot of structure. I think I would have preferred something with more movement to it, but I did try on multiple dresses here. Some of them I really liked, so I'm not putting them in the video, just in case it was something I went back to. Okay, it's day two. We're headed back out today to go to a few more appointments. I'm glad that I found a lot that I like. There's so many different directions you can go and like different styles and I kind of like all of them. I'm just trying to figure out what the vision is, what the vibe is, all of that. I also love having my mom along with me from start to finish, like my first appointment till the last one because she's seen every single dress. She's seen the venue, she understands the vision, she knows my style. So it's good to kind of keep someone consistent along the way so that they know where you started and what dress beats what. So you can kind of land at getting the best option. So today we're headed out for a few more. I've been kind of sneaking in some last minute appointments so we can just see as much as possible. Now we're heading into Lavella Bridal. I've looked this place up and they have a ton of great designers in here. So I thought we could look through a lot of styles and selection. It's so much fun going through the racks and really seeing what stands out to you and what doesn't. And it gives you a better idea of what you'd be looking for. So first dress we tried was this dress. It was an interesting fabric that I liked. It had a flowy material and it actually came with these arms, which are very high fashion. I felt like I could go down a runway with these, but they are definitely not what I'm going for for our wedding day, but they just make a really fun addition. I did say I wanna try on different styles and really have fun with the selection. So this was a wild card for sure, but without the sleeves, the dress was pretty simple. It also had a lot of sheerness to it, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really want to look like I'm wearing a see-through dress and at the top of this was actually pretty see-through. A lot of these strapless dresses have the flexibility to add some kind of arms. So that's really interesting to me as well. You can kind of play around with that and totally change the style of the dress. I then tried on a dress that I had pinned on Pinterest. I just wanted to see what it looked like in real life. This is a Zuhair Murad dress. I love a gorgeous lace dress, but lace is very difficult because it needs to be the right lace. I love the cut of this dress, but the lace had too much of a diamond print to it that I didn't totally love. We then went on over to Pronovius. Pronovius has a lot of sparkle, beading, and detail, and that's not exactly what I'm going for, so it was a bit hard to find a classic material in here that I think I'd really love. So I tried on some simple options, this strapless satin gown. I didn't love the neckline of it. It was almost too sweetheart, if there's such thing. So we then got into this lace strapless dress. Now I'm not totally on the hunt for a strapless dress, dress. There's just so many strapless dress options out there. So that's what I end up trying on here. I don't think this specific lace and the see-through details of it are really my style, but this V cut to the lace was actually a really flattering shape. 
And lastly, we went over to Monique Lullier. So I've tried on a couple of Monique dresses in Toronto and I really loved them. So I wanted to come to the flagship location, get the full experience and try on as many as I could. I really love her designs and her fabric options. So instead of sparkle and glitter and beading, they pick really beautiful materials. So I love that part. This is a very structured drop waist gown. So drop waist is definitely trending right now. I'm not sure if it's the best look on me. I think I look a little bit rectangular in it. So I think I'd rather a natural waistline dress. So we swapped out of that into a cool two-in-one dress. I would say my favorite part about this dress was the specific lace of it. It was really large and graphic, but the cut of the dress was pretty simple. The cool part is, is that you can add these attachable jackets that slip right on top of the dress and make it look like you now have a long sleeve dress. So that's a really cool addition that you could do. I also tried on this very fitted satin gown. I love the satin. It's bright and fresh, but again, there's something maybe a little bit too simple about it. So we then swapped back into a dress that I've tried on in Toronto. This is a really cute dress. It is a lot more princessy in its shape, but the waistline is pretty incredible how fitted it is. This dress also comes in a mini version as well, which is very cute. So love this dress, but I think I need to move into a different style, a different fit and see what I can find. Pretty. Oh, it's stunning. Oh my goodness. I really like this. This is it. I think this is it. It's not even really exactly what I was looking for, but it's like different. So I love that. We did it. We did it. She said yes to the dress. Yay. And it's stunning. It's, it's a stunning. so it's... much prettier than I thought. Like I was going to get. That was so much fun. Okay, we found the dress today. I actually can't believe it because on my way out today, I was hopeful, but I was kind of feeling like, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that feeling of like, yes, this is the dress. And I totally did. Like after searching and searching and finally going through all of the options, when you land at the dress that's like, this is it, it becomes obvious and I just thought it was so pretty. So I think we found it. I said yes to it. I'm actually gonna be going back again tomorrow to like try it on with a veil and just confirm that some things can be changed about it. But other than that, I think it's the one. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along and dress shopping with me. I hope this gave any future brides out there an idea of what it's like and maybe how many dresses you have to go through and just what different styles look like. I've really learned a lot along the way of different fabric options and adjustments you can make. There's so many variations. So yeah, if you're doing any dress shopping, just know there's a lot that you can change and add and take away. And it's just a really cool process. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. I usually do home decor content and interior design content. So now that this whole project is complete, I can move on to some home decor projects I'm so excited about. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.